All right, welcome back to Always Be Cooking. Today we're doing letter D for Denmark. So, Danish food right now is really, really popular. In fact, the number one world's restaurant, it's called Noma. It's been rated the world's best restaurant many times over. It's in Copenhagen. And so right now, if you wanna learn any style of cooking that's new to you, well, Danish is what's hot right now. So, what I made was Smorborg, 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 whatever, this. Whatever this says on the screen, I can't read that. Basically, it translates to bread and butter. It's a really hearty bread. Uh, uh, it's called Rugborg. Rugborg, 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 I don't know, whatever, whatever this is on the screen. So it's a, a whole rye bread with seeds and nuts and all sorts of funky stuff. Uh, I made that uh, a couple days ago. And then you basically cut it up, put some butter on it, and then you put on whatever you'd like for toppings. Arrange them in an artistic way. There's really no rules. A lot of times they'll have fish, salmon, uh, different types of meat. Really the world's your, your oyster. You can go online if you type in smorgasbord. You'll see all different types of designs, but basically whatever you have in your fridge that looks nice. And so it's a very easy recipe. I made some uh, liver porst, liver porst, liver, liver stuff for you this. I'll show you how I did that as a little pate. And I made a remoulade. I don't speak any Danish, so I'm sorry about this. But I'll show you that too, how we made that. Next, take three cups of rye flour and add two cups of warm milk, and in that you can melt a quarter cup of butter in there. Next, dump in a cup of seeds or nuts. I just had, you know, uh, some walnuts and sunflower seeds, but feel free to use whatever. Here you see me putting on some sourdough starter, about a cup of it. If you don't know what sourdough starter is, then maybe just use a little bit of yeast and warm water. Also, you're going to want to put a quarter cup of honey in there before I forget. So, if you can make your own sourdough starter, I recommend that. It tastes better. If not, just use a little bit of yeast, maybe a teaspoon, and some warm water. So, after that, let it rise. If it's a sourdough, you'll have to let it rise for at least 12 hours or more. If you're using yeast, just wait till it doubles in size. So whether it's sourdough, or active dry yeast, you're just looking for it to double in size, put it in a bread pan and let it rise until it's doubled in size again. And let it bake at 325 for one hour. Okay, now we're gonna make our liver post, or liver, anyway, I can't pronounce it. It's basically what we're gonna do is take liver and grind it up. And it makes this beautifully disgusting goop that comes out. And we just run our liver through that, about uh, 400 grams. Put it through a second time just to get it nice and gross and smooth consistency. Then after that, we're going to grind up some pork fat. We put in 200 grams of pork fat. So it's half what we used of the liver. 400 grams of liver, 200 grams of pork fat. And this we're also going to run through a second time as well. After that, put in a blender with some dill, uh, an onion, we're gonna put in an egg, and some roux that we made. So roux is just some stock mixed with some flour or, and butter and thickened. And then we just blend it up and it makes a lovely, lovely smell. Put it in a ramekin with uh, some bay leaf. And if you notice, I put a little bit of water in the bottom here. They call it like a bay marie or something like that, which basically just means a water bath. And uh, pop it into the oven at about 350 degrees and bake it 35 to 40 minutes until it's solid. So the adults all really liked the sandwiches. It was a big hit. But what do you think about the kids? Did the kids like it? Let's check it out. Good? Yeah. Can you eat it? I don't like the onion cake. Dr. Pepper knocking out. Thank you. It's a yolk. It's a 
the yak? Yeah, you like it. <laughs> I like it. What do you think? Okay. It's the yak for me. So, the kids hated it. So we're going to give them 0.5 rubber duckies. Not even a whole one. Uh, we're going to give them 0.5 for the simple fact that they put it in their mouth. At least they tried it. Thanks for joining us again at Always Be Cooking. Next week, we're going to do letter E. E for Ethiopia. Today, we'll start with the letter A. Doing the letter B. Letter C. Letter D. E. E for... Or Eritrea. There's a whole thing there. We'll talk about that next week. Make sure you don't miss it. Remember to like, subscribe, smash that like button if you loved it. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> Guess you definitely asshole. ruin it. Alright. Oh my goodness, get out of here. <laughs> Who could do that as a blooper or something?